today I'm going to prepare a few of our pork roasts. I am going to salt them for a few days in the fridge and then uh, I'm going to smoke them in our smoker. So I'm just starting to find four almost even roasts so that they can uh, be, be cooked at the same time. In last December they, there were a very big sale where we could get the, these pork roasts really cheap and that's why we have so many so we just filled the freezer with a lot of them. And instead of ju just doing one roast at a time, I can uh, easily make four at a time because the, the work is the same, either it's one or it's four. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting about 400 grams of salt into this pot and filling it with water and then I'm heating it up to dissolve the salt. And we are opening up all of them and putting them into this big uh, rubber box where we will have them in the fridge in this salt water brine for a few days. And I am checking on the brine a few times. Uh, the water doesn't have to boil. It just has to be as hot as um, so that the salt will dis dissolve and uh, it's not there yet. Now we can see the bottom of the pot and the salt has all almost dissolved. And uh, then we are filling the pot up with cold water and we are also putting some cold water onto the roasts uh, so that they won't start to cook and get bad in, in the fridge. And then we are pouring all of the brine on top and just filling it up with clean cold water. And then we are placing the box into the fridge and filling up so even some more water. Because it's really heavy now so it's easier to just put the box inside the fridge and then fill it up there. And now it is two days later and I'm going to start the smoker. This is a box that we put inside the smoker and it's filled with sawdust. And then there's this heating element in the bottom of the smoker that will heat up the sawdust and create the smoke. So I'm just putting it in the bottom here. And then I'm starting the smoker. It has to reheat for about 40 minutes before I will put in the roasts. And in the meantime, I'm taking out all of the roast from the fridge and um, I will discard the water, the brine, and then I'm putting them onto some racks that uh, I'll be using when I'm smoking them. And they also have to dry just a little before I put them into the smoker. I want to keep all four roasts on these two racks, so I'm just trying to make it work with the size of the roast so that they don't touch too much. So the biggest one and the smallest one is on the same one. Now I'm just walking out to the smoker and putting them in.
and uh, I have this thermometer that is connected to the smoker and I'm putting that one <coughs> into the biggest roast so I can uh, see what the temperature is uh, along the way. I will be uh, slow cooking them at about 90 to 100 degrees Celsius for about 6 or 8 hours until they are done inside and they have a nice taste of smoke. Now they have been smoking for a few hours, so I'm just checking out on them. And as you can see, they are getting a little color, and uh, they are also getting hotter inside. Now I'm going to prepare what else we are going to eat this evening, because we'll eat some of one of the roasts. So I'm just cutting up some onion, and later on some, some garlic and some Brussels sprouts. And I'm just putting them into my big roasting pan and uh, I'll be roasting it on the stove top. And I'm using some olive oil and some of my homemade seasoning salt and some of my homemade chipotle peppers. I ground this one up in my blender, so it's just like a seasoning. And this is Herbe de Provence. It's really nice with the Brussels sprouts and later on I'm also putting some potatoes in and it goes really well together. This is a balsamic glaze that I'm also using. It gives it both some sourness and some sweetness and it will caramelize a little. And I was really tired this evening so I just made it the easy way. We had some uh, potatoes in a jar that I just cut up and used. Now I'm going to check on the roasts again. They're not uh, totally up to, to temperature yet, but it doesn't matter because they will also go into the air fryer to crisp up at the end. But they look really good now. So we'll just take out the smallest of them and use some of that this evening and then the rest of them will go for a few more hours in the smoke because they're a little bigger. And now inside again I'm putting those cut up potatoes into the frying pan and I'm just frying them up with the rest of the ingredients and uh, they will get a little crisp and when I have had the roast in the air fryer, I will take some of that fat and put it into this pan as well. And this is the smallest of the roasts. So that's the one we brought inside. And I'm cutting this one in half. And then the one piece will just go into the fridge for tomorrow. And the other one will go into the air fryer. And I have some lard that I'm, I'm just taking about half of a teaspoon and uh, smearing that on top. That will help it crisp up really nicely. And then afterwards I'll put on some more salt. And that helps the crispiness as well and it tastes really good. So I'm just putting this one into the air fryer at about 200 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> and um, it's about in the, in the middle of this air fryer. This can hold three of the racks. 
So it will just go for about half an hour and then I'll check up on it. This is after about 30 minutes and this is how it looks. So you can see it's really crispy and it has puffed up and it also sounds really crispy when I cut it. And now the vegetables are also about to be done. As uh, you can see here, I put in that uh, extra fat from the roast, so it's, it, it tastes a little smoky and a little more salty, and it looks really nice. And then I'm just plating it up, and then the roast I just cut out into smaller pieces, that makes it a little easier for us to eat. And then I'm putting on all of the vegetables. And this is the finished result and it was really really tasty and uh, the rind was really crispy and then a few hours after we just brought in the rest of the roast and put them into the fridge for so that they could cool uh, until the next day and then <clears throat> I'll be cutting them into halves and wrapping them individually and putting them into the freezer as you can see here and then uh, in the co next couple of weeks or month, when we are going to have a smoke roast, we'll just take it one out of the freezer and let it thaw into in the fridge and then put it into the air fryer. And then uh, half an hour later, we have a smoke pork roast. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and please subscribe. And you can always find me on Instagram as well. Bye bye.